so what are we doing today? Today, I thought for some reason it would be a great idea to have Mitch back on my channel. Um, and I'm going to let him go through all the makeup drawers and pick all the products to um, use. And I am going to be the one to apply them onto my face. Now, we have a few. Have we, we have a few restrictions, right? What kind of restrictions? I'm not allowed to pick any kind of pink lipsticks or no you just like try to think that it'll look nice if i know mitch he'll be like i'm gonna make you look like the 80s because i love the 80s i was thinking more like <sighs> i don't know or like a hooker or something oh <laughs> no that's like, what the people want right that's not what the people want i can't make that but work. i'm not putting it on you this time you're just yeah, gonna try yeah. to <laughs> I am putting it on this time. Um, I will use my talent and skills, allegedly, to uh, to try to make a good look out of this. So, yeah. You ready? Sure am, boss. All right. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so for those of you who are new here, this is like my little beauty setup. Um, these are all my makeup drawers. So, Mitchie, oh yeah, we're a very small apartment. <laughs> uh, Mitchie's gonna go into the drawers and select items for me to use. So, Should we start at the bottom? We can start at the top. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. It seems more full than last time I looked. <laughs> what? No. Really? What's, the, what's this one? Really? You would pick purple? Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, there's your... There's Selena. And that's not a lipstick. That's a lip gloss. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So... You need a lipstick. You can have the gloss too, but it needs a lipstick under it. Is that what you want? It's a nice color, isn't it? Yeah, what is it? It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. Alright, cool. You done in there? Alright, the next drawer. Did you want a lip liner? Well, I suppose we could. I mean, that one sort of matches. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, there you go. Next up. Oh, there's a lot of oh. options in oh. here. <laughs> so this uh, is kind of like my my eye drawers. So I have like all my mascaras and liners and eyebrow stuff and like my smaller palettes. What? Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh yeah, that's the new palette from BH Cosmetics. Oh geez, we should use that one. Do you it's want so me to use that? Do you think you can make that work? I can make that work. Oh well, there you go. We're gonna go full. All right, so he picked the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I just got this the other day. Okay, think about what you need. What would I put on? Oh, I yeah. There we go. Mascara. Yeah, for the old eyes. Sweet. Okay. Uh, you might need this guy. Yeah, I'll definitely need that guy. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Um... Are you doing some of these? I can do lashes if you want. They all look pretty <laughs> wispy. Oh, this guy. Yeah. So that's a new eyeliner from Lee Swati. And yeah, I was just talking to Mitch about this the other day because it is crazy how nice it is. How did you describe this brand? Um, I kind of think it's like an old lady brand. <laughs> <laughs> but but I was at Shoppers and the girl was showing it to me and she showed me like side by side of some like the Stila liquid eyeliner and then this one and this one was like so bold and so pigmented. I hate saying that. So pigmented. All right. So we're just going to roll the bones here. Uh-huh. Uh, well, there you go. That's not enough. That's like a second step product. And that? 
Sure. All right. There you go. Cool. So <laughs> we have some L'Oreal brow gel and the Essence Make Me Brow gel stuff. I need face stuff. So this is what we have so far. Holy shit. Um, this is the face drawer. Yeah. Oh, wasn't this new? Yeah, this is new. You haven't even touched it. Oh my gosh, I've used that so many times. Wow. That's the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. So pretty. I love that. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's a good highlighter. We'll, we'll treat you. Okay. We'll treat you this time. All right. So we need some foundation, some okay. concealer, concealer, some powder. What do we got here? Your Super Stay. Uh huh. It's by Maybelline. Oh, that's the, that's the same. No, nope. they're one's, two different colors. One's a little so you pick. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. So he picked a, the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. That is an okay choice. What's this? It's a hockey puck. Do you want to open it and see what it is? Yeah, that's your powder right there. That's powder. Yeah, that looks like you. Okay. Yeah. So that's from LA Girl. We can use that. I'm just picking up random stuff at this point. I know. So, what What's, else? What is that? What else do you need? I just told you. Primer, bronzer, contour stuff. Okay. What's that? And <laughs> it is Dr. Branded. All is right. that what you want? Sure. Okay. That's so going there. That's the primer. Oh. This one actually says bronzer. Too. That's bronzer, yeah. So you can pick one. This is in two different shades. Okay, so you want that. Are we using that white thing? Oh, no, I suppose we're not. That was the maybe pile. Okay. All right, is there anything else you want? I don't think. Okay. I don't think you really need anything from this because you already have this palette. Oh, yeah. Which no. is kind of like wild. We're good. So We're good. I think you're good. Oh. All right, you're done. What's in the bottom one? Um, that's just like Miscellaneous. upcoming stuff slash like, I don't know. I like my nail polishes in here. Some stuff I haven't used before. Brushes. I have like my spare shape tape concealer. So when my shape tape runs out, I have a replacement. Yeah. All right. All right. You good? Good. Cool. Let's do this. All right, so now that Mitch has picked out all my products, I'm going to jump right into using them. So I'm going to start out with this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. Um, I have used this on my channel before. It's a nice primer. I got it in BoxyCharm. It does have like a little bit of a funky smell to it, but it's not really a big deal. So I'm just going to take some on my fingers, and I'm just going to go in and apply all over my face. I really like how it like is super hydrating on the skin. All right, so now that my skin is nice and primed, I'm gonna grab that foundation from Maybelline, Super Stay. Um, it's a 24 hour foundation. He got me the shade 110 Porcelain, which is probably a good decision because as you can see, my tan is like gone from our trips. All right, so I am gonna apply this foundation with a makeup sponge. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus um, just because I've been doing this a lot lately instead of wetting my beauty blender. I've been just spraying a little bit of Fix Plus on it and I find it makes my foundation last longer. So just gonna pump a couple of pumps of that foundation on the back of my hand. I'll take where I sprayed that MAC, that MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to go in and start applying that on the face. Whoa, this looks super pale. Oh my god, Mitch, you're turning me into a ghost. <laughs> Look at the <this> shade. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so I've been like mixing foundation shades for the last few weeks, um, trying to like gradually ease myself out of the tan 
So I think there's like parts of my face that this foundation is great for and then parts that maybe, oh my god, I look nuts. Not so great for. Dang. My baby wants me looking pale. <laughs> Cool, so that looks terrifying. Let's <laughs> move on. All right, so Mitch got me this Photo Focus Wet n Wild concealer in like a super orange shade. Like, why? I don't even understand. Um, because concealer is supposed to like brighten your under eye, not make you look fucking weird. Moving on to this LA Girl, um, translucent pressed powder is what it looks like so just gonna take like the dry side of my sponge I'm just gonna kind of dab into that a little bit and I'm just going to press that wherever my concealer likes to crease really bad so usually around my eyes I normally like a loose powder but um, I don't mind doing this method for like a pressed powder. Sometimes it is really convenient. Okay, so for bronzer, um, Mitch picked out this, I think it's from Milani. Um, it's like an XL bronzer powder. It's in like a really big pan. Um, it kind of has like two shades, so it's a split shade. I obviously really like this darker shade, but I don't mind just like swirling them all together. I'm going to use this like angled contour brush and just swirl it and I'm going to try to blend this bronzer really well because the foundation was so pale. I'm just going into this Sephora brush that I love so much. I'm um, just going into maybe like that darker shade a little bit and I'm going to do my nose. So very lightly because I know this bronzer is a little bit deep. It's not bad. It's not bad. For highlighter, um, he picked this Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Molten Gold. Um, this is super pretty. So I love how he said that it's barely used. I use this all the time. Um, so I'm just going to take this little crown brush. Ooh, a little shiny. And they're real good. Oh yeah, just taking a little bit of that on the brush. And I'm just going to apply this highlighter. Wow, so pretty. All right, so for an eyeshadow palette, um, he picked the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. Um, I just got this. I've been playing with it a little bit. The shadows are really, really beautiful. Um, so maybe I'll try to do something a little bit more fun than I normally would. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we can go into this kind of like orange shade. It's called Hippie. I'm going to take like a really big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start applying that into my crease. I'm just going to go into this like rusty orange shade called Escape. I'm going to make that a little bit darker. Alright, so next up I'm going to take this Sigma E55 brush and just spray a little bit of Fix Plus on it. Um, but I'm going to go in and kind of like wipe that excess off on the back of my hand. I think I'm going to go like a little crazy. I'm going to go into this royal blue shade here called Trance. I'm going to be super careful and just kind of pat this on my lid. Holy crap. These shades are so intense. Like, they are so, so, so beautiful. You don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to get, like, pigmentation off of these. I 
am just being careful not to get any fallout. All right, so we've got that shadow on and I did blend it a little bit um, using that same escape color. Um, just trying to decide what to put on the lower lash line. I think I am going to put this like peachy shade. Um, it's called Candy. So I'm just taking a, I guess like a flat brush from Crown. And I am just going to smoke that out a little bit. Alrighty, and just using like a tiny little detail brush. Um, this brush is from e.l.f. I'm going to take some Fix Plus. And I am just going to take some more of that royal blue shade. And I'm going to put it right on this inner corner beside the tear duct. Hmm. Alright, so I did just tap a little bit of this shade Trixie um, right into the inner corner to brighten things up a little bit. They're looking a little dark from the blue. This liner that I have, I just picked this up the other day, like I said. Um, this is from Lise Watier. This is the Feline Eyeliner HD. Um, so that's waterproof, which is kind of cool, but it is so dark. Like, one swipe is all you need. Like, I don't think I've ever used an eyeliner like this. Mitch also picked the um, Bad Girl Bang by Benefit for the mascara um, and he picked some wispy lashes so I'm just going to um, put this on off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty so I have those on. I'm just going to do my brows now. Um, so just taking that L'Oreal gel um, and just kind of like a flat angled brush. I'm going to go in and fill in my brow. I think this gel is kind of like getting to its last days. It's a little bit dry. Um, I've had it for quite a while, so it might be time to actually toss it out here soon. Is anyone else really bad with like departing with makeup? Like, I find when it's something good, like something that I like, and it's just kind of getting old or like getting worn out, I'm like, no, no, I could use that again. Like, oh, it's not, it's not worn out yet. I have something bad, I'm like, yeah, whatever, let's just throw it away. All right, there's some pretty good brows. Um, also gave me this Essence Make Me Brow Gel. Um, I do like that this has a little, like, in it so I'm just gonna comb this through my brows to set everything kind of like an unnecessary step I guess all right so last up is lips um he did pick up this MAC lip pencil this is in the shade nice and spicy it's kind of like a nice nude shade He picked this Anas Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know. Everyone says it different. Um, it's a liquid lipstick in the shade Hudson. So again, like a nice nude shade. Alright, so this is it for the final look. Um, I think that we did pretty darn good. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. This is like the closer up of the eye look um, and the lips. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, what do you think? You did it. I did it. You made it work. Yeah. I'm sure it was a little bit <laughs> difficult here and there, yeah? I had some moments. Not gonna lie, but did she curse my name? A little, a few times. <laughs> but I mean, I think I made it look pretty good. I think so too. Yeah.
You know, you know, like pale. I did look pale. There was some some time that I looked pale. <laughs> like put some bronzer on. Eh? Yeah, honestly, I just loaded a shit ton of bronzer on and hoped for the best. There you but go. I think it turned out okay. I like, like the eyes, but I I I guess when I took the eyebrows though, or the eyelashes rather, they didn't look so big. Those are huge. Yeah, as you can see, these are some big lashes kind of unnecessary like we're literally just going for brunch yeah like we're gonna go eat so I'm literally taking this lipstick off in like five seconds because I can't eat like this like this is not me eating makeup but yeah I think you did okay I think it looks good there you go not too bad there Mitch not bad you did okay I can make pretty much anything work let's be serious if I own it yeah <laughs> But like I own all this stuff, so you did pick it. Yeah, I bought it at some point. Like I, I spent don't, money on it. For I don't a go out and just oh look at this thing. Yeah, I, I bought this ugly ass. Okay, well I take that back because you did my makeup with all my makeup and it looked like shit. And I bought all that makeup too. My shaky hands. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, all right, so that's it from us for this weekend. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I know that we love making videos with, with Mitchie here. He's always so much fun to have on my channel. Imagine. So thank you so much for being in my video. Oh, you're welcome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, see you next time. See you. Bye. Is this my channel? Or is this your channel? It's, it's your channel. Oh, yeah. it's my channel. Good day and welcome to my channel. Subscribe down below. What the hell is all over this makeup brush? Oh look, it's the leafy bug. Greetings from the internet. Shut up. Alright. <laughs> your hair looks like a damn cockatoo. It does not look like a cockatoo. <laughs> you literally have like a... <laughs> Hello! So, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mitch with the. What? I can't talk! I hate you. Right. I'm editing this All whole right. thing out. I hate being around you. <laughs> this is love, folks. This is love. This might be another one of those videos that never sees the light of the internet. <laughs> anyway, that's us. Ha 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 